Hi, this is Atco. You know, uh, a little while ago I bought this uh, Edison Amberola. And I got a real good deal on it, but um, the one problem it had was that the reproducer didn't work. So uh, what I wanted to do in this video is to show what I was able to do to get my repaired and uh, it all it cost me was about two dollars worth of um, dental, dental floss. <clears throat> so you know this was an Amberola and it's a, a Model C. Now when you look at a reproducer there's only three main parts that would keep it from working. Uh, one is the stylus and you want to make sure the stylus is not broken. Uh, then there's a, a diaphragm, and the diaphragm is what picks up all the, the sound and amplifies it to some extent to the, the horn. And in between the stylus and the diaphragm is a cord that connects between the two, and that's called a linkage. In my case, it was the linkage that was missing. And apparently that's a very common problem because it's just a cord type of uh, something that over time of course it will break or, or just uh, wear out. Now you can get a kit that will replace the linkage and put in a new diaphragm. But um, if your diaphragm is okay, uh, from what I've understood that these, these new diaphragm kits that you buy uh, they're made out of uh, cardboard, uh, waxed cardboard, and they're not going to sound as good as the regular diaphragm. So there is a way that you can repair the vented, the uh, linkage, uh, for almost nothing using dental floss, assuming the rest of what you've got is okay. So this is what I'll show you what I did. First thing you want to do is take a good look at that reproducer. You can just look under underside of where the reproducer is and take a look at this, the stylus and make sure your stylus is okay. And you'll see where the stylus is and, and there's a little arm that comes out of that and then there should be like a, a hook and that's where the, the, the uh, linkage would connect to that hook and then go into the reproducer to where the, uh, the diaphragm is. It should be very clear that you see under there that there's some connection there between the stylus. As you'll see in mine, in this picture, mine was completely missing. Alright, so then you know you've lost your linkage. Take apart the, the uh, reproducer and look under there. You're going to need two things inside the diaphragm. You want, you want to see that first of all is the diaphragm okay? Um, but if it looks okay uh, you also want to see in the middle of it you should have at least some part of the old cord coming out of the diaphragm. If you've got a little part of that cord left and the diaphragm looks okay then you can replace that linkage just using a piece of uh, dental floss. Now you only need about a quarter inch of dental floss and of that you need it to be kind of uh, twisted you know and uh, it's not the easy thing to do with a, a heaven uh, just a one quarter inch of, of uh, dental floss. So here's what I got. First of all you need to use unwaxed dental floss. So you want nothing else on there, just unwaxed dental floss. But trying to thread that at all, it, it's just going to unthread. So what I did, I cut out about two inches of it and I put, you got to create at the end of your, your linkage, is your, you need to have a little hook there uh, so that uh, a loop there, so that that loop can actually connect to the hook of the stylus. So what I did, I took a very small little um, screwdriver 
and I put the two pieces of uh, dental floss and then started braiding that together until I had about two inches of that off. Now I had the screwdriver on one side and then after about the two inches so that I didn't want it to unwrap I put some kind of weight on the other side of that to hold that where it should be at the uh, you know uh, the two inches. Now what can I have that's going to hold that? I wasn't exactly sure. I didn't want to put anything like oil or I didn't want to put any a wax or anything because the idea is not to have anything on that cord. So I thought well maybe if I just put some just water on it and then let it dry and then do it again and then let it dry and do it again. I did this about five or six times and I thought well maybe just a little bit of the water might make it a little stiff and, and keep it from unraveling. So I tried that and sure enough when I took the weight off uh, it didn't unwrap. So at that point I went from where the, the loop is and I went to really just about an inch down from the end of the, uh, the, the dental floss. Okay, once you've got that, now you want, you'll see in my picture, it was just a little piece of my um, cord still coming out of the diaphragm. So uh, I just used some uh, five minute epoxy and uh, you only need like just just a one little drop and you want that drop to be right at the top of where the the original cord is and to the top of where you just cut off your uh, half a quarter inch of uh, uh, dental floss and I just had that come down right to where it was sitting right where that cord was and then let the drop right next to it and basically that that cord just kind of sucked up the the um, uh, epoxy so I didn't have to put much in there the main thing is trying to let it kind of uh, cool down a little bit so that it, it doesn't come off and and I held it there for a couple minutes and when it seemed to be holding pretty good then I was able to just let it lay on something so that it would really dry and I let that dry like that um, overnight okay then tomorrow or the next day I uh, just uh, put the two parts of the reproducer back together and then you actually would have what's coming out was your your new linkage and your your new uh, your new loop coming out of there and you had to find a way for that loop to kind of connect to the uh, hook of the stylus that can take a little time uh, you're, you're dealing with some very little small areas. You can't move too much with that thing. Uh, it probably took me uh, a few minutes to find it to, to work. Um, I had some pretty small tools where I used to work on uh, uh, adding machines that were uh, mechanical equipment and, and I had these little tools that were real good for working with springs and things. So I've heard some people have used a, um, a, a stable and I guess it's the real uh, thin piece of metal and they'll straighten that out and then just one end of the the staple cut that down kind of bend it down to have a little uh, hook uh, and with that you can go down and grab into the hoop of the um, your new linkage and just pull that over to where the the end of the stylus is where there's a little bit of a a uh, um, hook there and just work around that when you finally get it because you're going to want that to get when it kind of gets to almost the, the uh, stylus is almost flat to the uh, reproducer I mean that's where you should have that linkage tight enough that, that that's going to give you the, the strength that you need you want it to if it's too long it's going to be loose and it's either not going to work or it's not going to work very well. You do have to play with it a little bit I guess and if it doesn't work you got a little bit of a problem because you got to cut it out and put another one in. But um, you know I had gotten some good advice from the uh, uh, Victrola guy and he told me he said best luck with it right at a quarter inch and that's what I did and uh, and it fit just perfect for me. So put that back together 
everything up back into the uh, reproducer, put it back into the Emberola, and then tried it, and you know, it didn't work great. So uh, I'll show you just a few seconds of uh, of mine when I started playing with it, and I'll tell you what it was very. I was very pleased that uh, it was that easy to to repair it. So at least that was my luck. And uh, if anybody wants to give it a shot, uh, you could do the same thing. And worst cases, if it just doesn't work at all, um, you can always get the kit and put the kit in yourself. Uh, the kit's probably around. Twenty twenty-five dollars plus shipping, so it's not too bad. But uh, I did it more not so for the money, but just wanted to see if I could do it, and it seemed to work fine. So uh, give it a shot, and uh, good luck. This is Echo signing off.